Well, howdy. How's it going? I think only does your bye. Bye. Wow, we you watched entirely too much of what's his face last night. If you're saying wowie now. My camera got moved. How did my camera get bumped? Vi, did you come bump my stuff? Something in, right? Because even this monitor's moved. It's weird. Okay. Oh, I didn't see the emote. It just showed up as text on my, the thing I was looking at. Because, uh, yeah, wowie. <laughs> what was that guy's name? The channel we've been watching. Draugr and uh and Khajiit. He says wowie all the time. It's really weird. What is all that gibberish? Oh my base hole and stuff. Alright. Um We needed to start working on Cyclops, I think. No, we needed to go down and get some things, I think. I think we need nickel. But I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna try to get some materials real quick. I also need to see about uh brains stopping. My brain ain't working. Hmm. Oh no. My brain is literally stopped. <laughs> it's arrow and it's like error 404 right now. I can't think. Um No. Oh, okay. I need tablets. I realized last night uh, I used the only purple tablet I had. to check a thing. There's like three on that island. I used one to get a thing. I haven't gone back. There's, I know there's a few on that island. I think there's even an orange one. I need to do. Oh, I did get this. I can't remember if I got this or not. All right, there's lithium. I've got lithium right now. I probably should just take this thing down here and leave it. something I don't know where I'm going <laughs> I really don't it sounds that lithium orb I thought I'd find another one all right uh, I don't think I needed to go here <laughs> I was looking for that plateau that has a whole bunch of uh, resources and stuff on it. So this is not where we wanted to be. Damn it. I think I can get out of here. If not, the prawn will be stuck until I get a cyclone. Oh.
Come on. Get up there. I'm finding salt. A lot of salt. I don't need all this salt. I'm stuck. Stop getting stuck. There we go. All right. Out of the poop hole. So that's not where we needed to go. I really wish I hadn't put my base there now. Or my starting base. I may just head on back. And just start gathering. Because while I can drill with the prawn, if I'm not close to anything to drill. If I had set my base up on that other plateau. Where all the... Uh, Thingies are. I've been different. Oh god. Uh oh. Mm, okay. Whoops. What am I sniffing? So we just wasted a whole bunch of time. Cool. I don't like wasting time. Mm -hmm. The one that sucks about this game uh, for me is that I have no map memory, so I never know where anything is, including myself. Um, this is the first time that I feel this disoriented in this game, which is very strange because I feel like the last time I wasn't that disoriented. Uh, a big problem that I made or a big mistake I made this time is that I didn't, uh, I didn't make any beacons which is probably my biggest fault which i think i'm gonna make some before we go out again and gather so i don't keep having this problem in fact i'm, I'm glad you uh, brought that up because i'm gonna go make some right now And I make like three or four beacons. I'll be fine. And that'll help me keep my barons. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do, huh? Just make you some beacons, throw them out in uh, the biomes for the entry spots to uh, certain underground parts and go from there. Cause I used to be able to get everywhere I needed to go just by looking at the Aurora. Not so much anymore. We're going to go back to uh, where we just were and throw out the glow glowy ball beacon. Or I think, I think I call it the balls. Yeah. Balls beacon. There's balls beacon and then blood forest. Blood forest being the, um, I guess the trees that have the blood, no, it's not blood. It's like these sacks, red sacks used for some kind of enzyme thing. I think it's to my left. Cause straight down there. I think that takes me to better. All right. We're going to go put it right over top of the ship. And then we'll probably go up and left. Balls. 
Are you boss? Did you not name boss? Shit. Boss. Yeah, you're boss. You better stay boss. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's our balls beacon. Now that I think is the sea emperor. I'm not sea emperor. The Leviathan area. See, this is, this is the red forest, right? Or the red grass. Not forest, but red grass. I think it does anyway. I hear the Leviathan over there. That's one of the uh, perimeters. Okay. Now, blood far or blood grass, red grass, whatever. The grassland should have a down spot. That ain't it. Unless it was the other one. Yeah. And this takes us to purple mushrooms. Okay, now this is going to be one hell of a night. Purple shrimps. What's up, Brockstar? How you doing? I absolutely love this game. Cannot wait for Blow's Ear. Me either. I'm super freaking excited for it. What you getting into, Rockstar? Also, was that a host that I didn't catch again? Thanks, Stream Elements. I didn't get to see the message. If one of you hosted, I appreciate it. I'm sorry that Stream Elements is not giving me pop ups. Well, it's not showing up in my event list. I hear the sound effect, but that's all I hear. But hell yeah, I'm super freaking excited for uh, Subnautica Boys Hero. I have made it a point not to. Uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, I made a point not to watch any uh, streams about it or to. Uh, play it or anything so i'm going in completely blind i'm really really excited this is by far one of my favorite games ever made all right um i don't know if we need to go that way and there's the aurora okay balls Trying to make sure I get out of my stuff. Balls, purple shrimps. Okay. If those are purple shrimps, we need to go that way. Yep. I think my problem is, is where I am on the Aurora. I think I'm usually a little more over here. And since I'm that far to the side, I keep trying to go to a zone that's way over here. You've only seen, I haven't even seen the trailer. <laughs> I felt part of the first one was ruined for me uh, from watching content. I love the excitement and discovery of the game. Um, I had watched very little of this game before I played it. No, I take that back. I did watch a lot of it. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know what the main story was because I hadn't saw bits and pieces of Jack except got playing it. That's what it was. 
How's everyone doing today? I'm pretty good. All right. Um. Let's see. Right now we're marking stuff and I'm going to also try to pick up a couple of ingredients and get to where I want to go. We have found a uh, type of bug, I guess, that for some reason the time capsules aren't working. I opened four time capsules yesterday and there was nothing in them. No message, no nothing. Just blank. Yeah, I discovered it through uh, pubes and watched Jack's playthrough and Jax is definitely better. No offense to PewDiePie or anything, but his let's plays are kind of trash. I've never liked Pubes' let's plays. If I want to watch a, um, a let's play, I'll probably watch either Jack or Markiplier. Four capsules. Oh yeah. Uh, you can find up to like 30 in a game or something like that. Pubes does all right for memes and stuff. In my opinion, I'm sorry. I'm just 40. You only ever found one. Uh, they are pro more prominent in certain zones. But something's definitely not working right with them because they got four last night and they were all kind of bonkers. Oops. All right, this should be kind of near. These are more balls. I don't want to name this more balls. There's going to be, this is the small amount of balls. Blood forest should be near here. I think the one I found, um, hadn't sent all basic tools and start the game with a really kind message. A little heartwarming. Um, have you ever beat the game? Um, foggy. Okay. So you, you know how the, they get to where they are. That, that was my question. I've already been here. I was asking because I wanted to make sure you you knew how you get the uh, time capsules. Because you can put whatever you want in those time capsules. The last time I played this game, somebody gave me all the in-game in -game upgrades. Which was kind of OP. Wait, is this going to be balls too? Yep. Yeah, this is going to be balls too, I guess. Not what I was looking to find there. Man, it, some, I've gotten so turned around in this game. I don't remember like half of these areas being where they are. Like I remember the area is just not the location that they're in. If that makes any sense. All right. This should be cave entrance. Yeah. Okay. So this is, this is entrance. Enter my home. Am I okay to joke about something? Uh, the end game. Yeah, you can go ahead. I've, I've beaten the game twice. Yeah, twice. I'm not so much worried about spoilers. So. Now, below zero is a completely different story. 
I'm gonna get the more blood for us then. Whatever. Uh, we're gonna gather on our way back. I need to find some scrap peats. I guess I didn't make enough. Um, Wait a minute. Let's see what we got here. I just really hope that sub zero or sub zero. I keep calling it sub zero. I'm just hoping that below zero is as good as this game. Where I haven't heard as much rumble. Like I heard a lot more rumblings about this game when this game first came out. I haven't heard really anything about um, below zero, which concerns me a little bit, or just the fact that like when Subnautica came out, there wasn't really anything else like it at the time. So that might be why there was so much more rumbling about it. I'm unsure though. Oh, wait, this is a good farming for us. It's got all the things. Mm -hmm. So, dudes. If you ever feel useless, just think about the lockers on the Neptune. You can't be that useless. On the Neptune? The lockers on the Neptune. Oh, about there being nothing in them? Or do you mean the, the Aurora? Neptune, because the Neptune's the one that got blew up. Like, right? Isn't that the ship that comes to try to rescue you? Now, the Aurora is the ship that's here. I'm confused now. <laughs> Oh, the no oh, okay, okay. Got you, got you. Yeah, they're completely useless. The first time I played this game, though, I was really disappointed because I had like, I felt like I had set up this really cool base down in the lava area, and I was really looking forward to like expanding and building on it. And then the game just—it felt like the game just ended. I thought maybe I launched a rocket something would happen and then I would have to stay on the planet. It's like, no, nope, you're, you're good. You're, you're not coming back. Like, okay. Well, that sucks. No, I don't know. Really. There we go. I forgot all about that damn rocket having a name. <laughs> I feel like blasting off in this game was like the, uh, my least favorite part. <laughs> my least favorite part was the ending of this game. I think like the very end of it. I didn't say before launching and lost about four hours of progress that I haven't played since. Can't be bothered to do it again. Play it on hardcore. I love this game on hardcore. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um. Enter Braun. No. It, get in it. <laughs> this game. It keeps opening the fucking storage. Are right, we going to do the ladder break thing? Okay. Well, I'd be keen to play from scratch, uh, though. Yeah, possibly hardcore. Hardcore just gives you that extra element of like, I can't fuck up. 
That's what I like about it. Not to mention that usually in uh, these style games, Dan uh, makes me feel like I'm terrible. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I don't want to keep playing the game or that particular guy if I died. I'm not like that with everything. Seven Days to Die is the one game that really bugs me that there's not a permadeath. And I've turned off the like save persistent profiles in that game and it still makes me reload to have to restart the entire map, which sucks. All right, we need to figure out. Oh, I have one more. I need to figure out what I need to get for the Cyclops. Because we're going to have to go down to the deep thing anyway. And I also need to go back to the island and get a tablet because my dumbass didn't get them all while I was there. And I currently can't craft any. So I have to go back for that. Can I look here instead of having to go? Up top. Hmm. Hey, Ursa. Thank you so much for the raid. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, you should check out Ursa Games. Give them some love. How you doing, Ursa? How was your stream? All right. So we need to make this. So I need three, three pale cell ingots is what I'm going to be working on right this second. Okay. Three bell still. So I need to go ahead and make... Jesus. Were you do uh were you watching or watching? Were you playing game jam games tonight? Is that your thing? What? It wasn't enough. Never pay attention to oh, enough. Yes. Great big testicles. Hey Ursa, thank you so much for the reset. Ursa, I stopped you back off the stream again. My bad. Where did I stick it? Uh, if anybody in chat's wondering why none of my shit's labeled, it's because I eventually want to move this base, so I haven't taken the time to bother with it. Which has already started to tilt some people. <laughs> which it's already kind of tilting me, but I just know that if I get into a uh, locker sorting, that'll be a whole fucking stream. I would like to get the Cyclops before I get to that level. All right. So we got our pal still. Um, our plasteel, not pal still. Uh, three glass. I don't think I have. No, I don't. So I need to go get quartz. That shouldn't be too bad. Uh, it's, it's weird that this stuff ain't respawning here. Hmm. Need more cave. There we go. Need lots more uh, quartz. Happy about it? Oh. Hmm. Even though I do sort my lockers, I never label them. <laughs> I usually do label them. Well, in this game, I do. But I mean, seriously, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to build the Cyclops and then I want to deconstruct everything in my base and put it on the Cyclops until I find a suitable living arrangement. So in my brain, I'm just like, what's the point?
Come on, salt. Salt? <laughs> Quartz. Not even looking for salt. You turned your Cyclops into a mobile base with all the storage food, etc. No one would have to unpack somewhere. Yeah, that may end up happening to me too. Um, I do generally make some kind of power area in the right before the lava area because those stupid power sucky slugs. But yeah, since you can put everything on the Cyclops, you don't necessarily need a base. Which I think is, is really cool and kind of shitty at the same point, because if you know that, then uh, your likelihood of making a base is smaller, you know? My shoulder still hurts like hell. Are there any automated things uh, you can make on your base uh, to have more things going simultaneously? How do you mean? Uh, the main, th I think the main reason to have something a base is like, sorry, oh, that's a big figure. Um, you can like hatch your own mon or sea creatures and stuff. Uh, the problem, I think the problem is the food's probably too good in this game because you don't even need a water, like a water generator thing because your food, uh, also replenishes water. And since food grows pretty dang quickly, that pretty much takes care of everything. Yeah, but you don't, uh, you don't need the farm setup. Um, and you can't farm like metals and shit. You still have to go get them. So it's not something you can like automate for having a base or anything. You still have to go get it. That's why it's better to have a mobile base because you can move around to all the areas you need to get the uh, other materials if that makes any sense there's only like one area that has uh, the majority of materials and it's on the area leading to the last area the only thing it doesn't have are these teeth that these creatures drop the shark thingies But it's got like a convergence of all the biomes there. Wait, I don't remember if I need a three. Um, yeah, I need three enamel glass. So I probably need a lot more. Um, wait, I know I have more sharks teeth. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, how many glass per enamel glass is it? Oh, it's just one. Okay. Most of the base building, I think, is just, uh, you know, build a base and have fun with it. But, like, this is a bioreactor. This uh, is my power. Here's all my plants. I'm not even going to use most of them. Uh, this tree right here just constantly grows these things and I can eat them and be fine. This is what I mean that I think some of the items may be, uh, too good. If that makes any sense. All right. We need lube and advanced wire and lead. We have lube advanced wire. We need, we're going to need some copper. 
I think some gold. I think we also need some silver. All right, what do we need? Uh, advanced wiring kit requires wiring kits. We need. Uh, how many do we need? Yeah. Keep hitting fucking escape. I need one advanced wiring kit. So just one. Okay. Mm hmm. And I need a computer chip, which is this and some tail core. Um, well, I think we'll have all the stuff to make it. I don't remember it being this sheet to make the uh, Cyclops. Wait a minute. Damn, I need one more. One more table sample. Isn't it weird? I just need one, one little, um, uh, sample. Whoa. Wait, I did get it. Yeah. I need one wiring kit, simple wiring kit or whatever, advanced wiring kit to make a whole damn space <laughs> spaceship, a whole damn, uh, submarine. All right, guys, you guys ready to see this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing? You cannot build here. Wow. Must be constructed in deeper water. Well, shit. How do I move this? Pick up. Okay. I didn't mean to make it in shallows. Let's take it right here. Where'd he go? Nope. Don't pick it back up. Oh, don't face that way. Come on. Thank you. Cannot build here. Must be constructed in deeper water. Um. Don't make me angry. How much deeper I gotta go? I mean, that's pretty deep. It's not gonna hit the fucking ground. Wait, can I steer this thing? There it goes. Look how big this thing is. And that was all the materials it took. The Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. 40-foot sub for one. We got us a motherfucking submarine. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Thank you. Turn the engine, engine on. Powering up. Oh yeah. Oh, I've missed you, submarine. All right, we've got some uh, moving to do. Although I think I need to look. Well, we're gonna do some moving. I can't have the prawn and the um, thing on here at the same time, can I? The sea moth. I don't think I can. All right, we need all the room we can get. 
we have a lot of um, stuff to transfer. First, we're going to take the one that lets us actually uh, make boxes. The best thing about this game, if you ever like are planning on moving, is that uh, it's one for one on materials. So whatever you put it up with, when you take it down, you can just move it. You don't have to uh, do anything. Crayon, you don't get banned again. I mean, we can do it. <laughs> Actually, Crayon, I don't think you've been banned here. How you doing, Crayon? Mm -hmm. Doing good? Sweet! Oh my god, here's a... Uh now to remember how I placed all these. Can I get, wait, can I go to the floor? Can I double stack them? I forget. Can demo stack them. How's the game treating you? Pretty good. But they float. I don't know about that. I might take the last resource space just so they don't fucking float. It fucking floats anyway. That's bullshit. All right. Anyway, there's another thing I wanted to try. Let's see. Um, I don't like to make that, but I need more quartz. So we'll make those instead of um, these for now. I don't even know if I had any leftover quartz. I mean, I can make two of them, I think. Two left over quarters. Cry, I know you played this before. It's real good. One of my favorite games. Alright. Come on now. Please give me a snap to point. I hate how it doesn't let me go all the way to the wall with it. Does that upset you too, Val? That's pretty good. make one more this is why I don't uh, I didn't label them last time I think I should be able to get three in here though I don't remember getting three in here before where did I get four
Hmm. I can't remember. Do I have a radio in here yet? No. Game's not like spitting out any sick jams right now. I need some beautiful music. You know what I mean? Alright, uh, we're gonna have to put some down here anyway. I guess we'll put mass storage up top. You can never have too much storage, right? Okay. So you're going to be copper. You're going to be gold. And you can be silver. What did I deconstruct? Oh, the battery charger. Okay. Mm -hmm. I probably should go ahead and do this. The funny bit is, wasn't there a way by to uh, charge your power cells or some crap? <laughs> Wasn't there some kind of weird meta that you could do with battery chargers? I can't remember, but I could have swore you could. It was something like you could charge your batteries or charge your power cells on the same thing or something. And it would just be like an endless loop. Or did they change that? Okay, there's that stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, that's gone. Silver and diamonds. Well, this might take a while. So if you guys want to chat, <laughs> let me know. Welcome it's going to take a lot of moving. All systems online. Silver. Uh, lead. Not, not LEDs. Lead. All right. Oh, wait. Did I put my... Thingy? No, I didn't. Okay. Come on. Is that slightly off? This one's higher. <laughs> this is why this game needs to snap to point, man. Although Fallout 4 had snap, uh, snap to point, it was terrible. 
You remember that van? Just how bad that shit was. Mag. Well, butter my butt and call me a best mag. Hmm. Snass. Snoss. Snosses. S N A N S. Snass. Snass. Snoss. Snooze. Snooze. Snon. Snosses. I. Snans. <laughs> I don't know what to say your name. Thanks so much for the follow. What is that when uh, something's spelled the same way it is backwards? What are those called? There's a word for it. I can't remember. Mm hmm. Mm, salt palindrome yeah which is very disappointing word since it isn't yeah right you would think that they would have made the word itself a palindrome as well right is that off again that's Oh my God. What is it? The diamond one that's off. How do I keep doing this? Ursa, have you ever become a, a big game dev and you have crafting have snapped a point. Okay. I need it. I need that in my life. Just have the option. If, if, if you're going to do it this way, it's five. It's still have an option that has snapped a point or have a way that you can, uh, align them on a squared thingy. How's the best way to explain? If you've ever played a uh, don't starve together, there's a, there's a mod that makes everything like let you plant in like the cube version of it. Yes. Snap. Well, is it snap to grid and, uh, don't start. Cause man, I get OCD as shit about that. Oh, wow. No, a lot of stuff in here to move. DSC is grid placement, which is just a grid overlay and doesn't snap that. Yeah, but at least with the grid overlay, you can see where you're placing something, you know? That's beneficial. Mm, so we're going to go ahead and call this nickel. What else is there? Nickel. P rocks. What else is there? Ruby. Not too close. That did not work out the way I'd hoped it would. Where's my salt? There we go. 
What do I need cave sulfur for early game? I've already forgotten. Mm, this needs to go here. We're running out of space already. That can't be good. Our mobile command center will be uh, done soon. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to have to still build a moon pool because I have to build the upgrades and stuff for the Cyclops because I don't think I can build the Cyclops on the Cyclops. Or can I? I don't know. Get that one last. Oh, my dear God. This game indeed may have too many items. Um, instead of nickel here, what was that that I picked up? Glyph or lithium? Ruby? Wait. No. Shit. But Ruby's here. And change this to with. All right. P rocks, uranium. Cubes. Oops. Seek fluid intake. Gel sacks. I have a lot of batteries. Don't question it, it'll be fun. But yeah, we can't take both the prawn and the uh, Seamoth at the same time, right? Pretty sure I can't. Stabilizing. I can't remember if it gives me the seed back or not. It does not. So I need to make sure when I get the other one that gives me the seeds back. Okay. All right, we need to build fabricator modification station. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Mm -hmm. uh, modification station. we get okay oh yeah uh planter bed so we need to put a planter bed in here Uh oh 
Something's not square. You know what would suck though? If we lost our ship. Having all of our all of our stuff on it and then to lose your ship. That would be terrible. stream what have you been up to we're just moving our shit going well sweet I don't think you can build a water purifier in here let's see I've never tried I feel like it would be a huge waste of power but I want to see anyway it just doesn't fit in here does it <laughs> So you can't build a water purifier in here. All right. I also want to know if you can build an animal, oh, animal, uh, alien containment unit in here. What else did I take apart? Um, I think that's my power cell charger. Where'd it go? There it is. Hmm. I'll probably move this stuff around. What have you been up to, Nick? How you how you do your stiff? Let's see. Um, because mechs are cool. All right, so one of those is a pump water purifier. Still have those. Nope. Hmm. We've been sorting all of our shit for like the past 30 minutes or something now. Not much. Uh, finished first season of D&D &D with a new group just before. Dude, I haven't played D&D &D in so freaking long. Yeah, I think I was 16. A friend of mine's been talking about uh, doing D and D on Twitch for like three years and still hasn't. Chat, I'm talking about Akita. <laughs> ah, crap! I didn't bring my knife. Um, oh, we need to take this down anyway. I don't think I'm gonna take the prawn yet. That means we're gonna have to come back and get it. Oh, I didn't still didn't get my knife. Back to the deep sea. Yep, diadems. We are in the deep seas. Right now we're getting ready to move all of our stuff. That's what I'm currently working on. But I need my knife to get my seeds. Alright. Or how many slots is this? Or eight. Alright, sixteen. Eight. Four. Eight. Alright, that should be enough. Yep. Eat him. Two, three, and four. Chinese potato. All right.
Have you ever played this neck? If you haven't, you should. If you have, hope you liked it. Subnautica is a wonderful game. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I need a little spot for my Chinese potato. That's not a good spot for it. Neither is this. But we're going to put it there. All right. So we can now move all of that stuff. Um, now I also need to see what modifications. Can I build? Is it modifications on this? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can build the, the mods on the mods. Everything is set for torpedoes. All right, well, that works. I gotta go outside to do that. Um. Fully recycling our old base. It's beautiful. Where was I keeping lube? Not there. Not there. Or there. There. Hmm. I guess I'll put that there. Fuck, I don't know. I'm wondering if I should leave the moon pool here with the prawn. Might be a good idea for now. Yeah, I think I'm going to just leave all this shit here. I don't really see a reason to take it. I need some place for the prawn anyway. Oh, I do have a modification station. I guess I can take it down. Man, they really needed, uh, maybe a few more posters. I have too many prawn posters now. Aw. Where am I going to stick the prawn poster? There we go. <laughs> Close it. Mm, no, that was everything. Okay. So now that we've got everything, we're going to move. Um, I think I've got a couple of more materials I need to get. Hmm. 
It's so fancy. Why won't it let me put it anywhere? <laughs> Does it need a table or a shelf or something? What the fuck? Maybe I can't place them in here. I've never tried before. Whatever. All right. Cyclops engine battery. Uh, let's up some green fabricator. So yeah, I don't even need a fabrication shit. I'm just fabricate them here. There we go. All right, energy. I probably should have installed that a long time ago. What do we have here? Okay. We need a depth module, which we have the stuff for that. So we need a power steel and some ruby. Now still the two lithium and what three rubies is that it? Hey, what am I going? Ruby. Ooh, we're actually low on rubies. Oh, may actually make the ingot. I ain't getting lithium either. Come on, this stuff isn't a little closer together. Somebody nibbling on my ship. All right, we got a depth, mo depth module. We have the energy efficient module already. Um, probably need that at some point. So I need to make the Cyclops docking repair module. Although not really. Cyclops sonar. I think I got a chip. The chip and three mags. I think I had a chip. I think I had a chip. No one don't. But I thought I had a chip. What makes the chip? Table samples, uh, two of them. Um, gold and a copper wiring kit, I think. All right, let's see how close that was. <laughs> hey, you got it. First try. Sonar. Dep. Um, what else should I really get? I don't know about the whole repair module thing. I'd have to make another repair tool too. I'm not sure if I want to do that. You know what? No, no, I'm gonna keep a grab trap. I've never used a grab trap ever. I'm gonna see what happens if I use it down in the weird areas. Right, got another computer chip. What else do we need chat? 
Wait. Modification station. Cyclops. Upgrade. Um, I don't have any, I don't have any nickel. So we'll have to stop by there. Okay. Should I make a repair module? I probably, I need that, but I don't have any sulfur. I guess the shield might be a good idea. Advanced wiring kit. Power cell. Yeah. That thing that starts with a P. Do I even have the P? Do I have P? Wait, they're at the very end. I don't. How do I make the P? What makes P? Gold and... Oh. Well, I have the stuff to make that then. Hydro... Gold... So it's gold and hydrochloric acid. Okay. What else was it? <laughs> I got the P. I've, I've already forgotten what everything else was. Power cell and advanced wiring kit. Power cell, advanced wiring kit, power cell. Power cells upstairs. Wiring kit. I need a regular wiring kit. I think to make an advanced power kit. Don't I? Yeah. I need a computer chip and two gold. So I'm going to need more table samples. Yep. Let's go get some table samples. Because they're right here. No, they're not. Hmm. Oh, there's some. I miss my Subnautica music already. You know? I have so many batteries, I'm not going to worry about getting any of these streams. I think the, these streams are only used for batteries. There's really no point to bring a stockpile of those. Right? Go in the hole. Alright. Um, there's the music we've been looking for. We have gold on me, so I need copper. Well, apparently I already have this stuff to make an advanced wearing kit, so I just grabbed all that shit for nothing. And then power cells right here. That's just going to be what we go with for now. I think we're ready to launch. We're about ready to launch. Is there any other ingredients I need to get before I leave? That would be a smart idea. Okay, uh, cool. That's how you spell cool. Yeah, it is. Hmm, it just looks wrong. Because I think the only thing I can't get down there is teeth. Right? And I can't get blood sacks either. Oh yeah, I can't get lubricant. Wait, I need my own. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I can't get lubricant or um whatchamadoo. This stuff. 
So we'll get a whole bunch of this. Cause that makes, um, we'll go ahead and convert this and make lubricant and, uh, synthetic fiber or whatever it's called. The other one makes the mesh, but I don't remember what, if I need mesh later. do I need? I'm getting really close to moving this downstairs too. I probably should. That's all the crafting's right here. All right. Give me this back. All right. We're going to make it all lube. Yeah. Let's make it all lube. See, the idea here is that we won't have to come back up, right? I mean, we got to come back for the prawn, but. Hour and a half doing this. Ah, smart. And I, what's going to happen is I'm going to get all this stuff. I'm not going to use 90% of it. There'll be shit that I actually did need and didn't get. I think I need four, two, three, four. It's probably entirely too much lube. Oh, one more. It's uh, kind of like we went to Amazon and bought that big barrel. I'm thinking like $500 or some shit. Okay. Yeah, my lube supply is full. We have plenty of lube. Now we need this. Sad thing is the rubber takes two things, I think. You want it? I may only take one. You ever wonder why things don't stack in this game either? Isn't that weird? I think they wanted you to keep going back for inventory management, but I don't know. For some reason, I just found that odd. we need I can't count I don't ever pay attention to that shit I'm assuming that's enough what's up Gary I mean, if we made too much, whatever. I think I only need two. All 
All right, lube's done. I'm not sure what we're doing there. Uh, way too many. Only needed one. Yeah. You can have all of that. I think I'm overkilling again, though. I <laughs> really think I'm overkilling. I probably should turn the freaking lights off, too, while I'm doing this. I'm literally just wasting power. This is going to be the last trip for this item. We will try to pick up some more. What's this stuff? Called? The purple rock. What's the purple rock? I've already forgotten. <laughs> Titanium. We'll go, uh, since we're this close to salvage to our scrap, we'll go ahead and get some scrap. Mm -hmm. Looking. I do want to move this. This. Almost a full stack of shit. cave silver for anything I could be wrong I uh, do need deep shrooms but those are always weighed so we're not going for that let's see if we can get some scrap you know one of my favorite things about this game is the music and sometimes I feel like the music doesn't play nearly enough We've been hearing that like scratchy noise for too damn long. Thank you, music. You're too good not to be playing. Actually, surprised you guys haven't dropped a whole lot of teeth. Mm, I don't see any more. I'm gonna say. Okay. 
Can I just take whatever? Oh, I don't have my scanner. <laughs> Whoops. I forgot to bring my scanner. Do you, I want, when you get hungry or thirsty, do you just slowly lose health or do you just die? I've never got that low or oh, low before. So I'm unsure. Cave silver. Like what it's actually used for. I know it's something you need at the beginning of the game. I don't think you need it anymore after the very beginning of the game. I could be wrong. Just lose health to you, duh. Oh, I'm an idiot. I had no inventory space and I just ejected the batteries out of here. Luckily, I have a whole bunch back at base. I was like, wait, where are my batteries going? They're pooped out somewhere over there. Oops. So pro tip, if your inventory is full and you're trying to change your batteries, don't do that because you'll poop your batteries out and we'll have any. Don't do what I did. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems uh, online. Yeah. No, I still don't have inventory space. What am I doing? Oh, it gave me the batteries back. I guess I didn't poop them out. Back to get it like right on the nose. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh yeah, don't I need to go to the island van before we go down? Wasn't that something I was supposed to do? I wish you could crouch in this game. It would be when it would be nice. All right. Yeah. Uh, Cause I need the tablets, right? And that was one of the things I needed to do. I need tablets. I did not make a glass one. Whatever you're okay, looking for. This is gonna be one hell of a night. Oh. Night Guardian, thanks so much for the host. Uh, I'll just stick it here for now. Oops. Let me 
Minus two, three. Give me my stuff back. I'm kind of tired of sorting, so we're going to just pick this up and go. One, two, three. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, the Seamoth is in here in it. We'll, we'll just take the whole ship. Like All right. Time to go. We need to go to the island. So we're heading that one. Yes, I know it's deep. Or it's not deep. Shit. We need to get out of the shallows. We'll be fine. I would Having flagged emergency speed. Morning. Vessel counterfeit. Excessive damage. Alright. Now we can go over there. How are you? Doing pretty good. Just uh playing some Nautica. We're headed to the island to go get some more um tablets and then head on down what's my power at 77 percent yeah 77 percent is pretty good i think i got one more power cell not to mention that at any time we run out i can just uh stop and build another base and charge it with a uh What's my doodle? We do need to make sure that we do it before we completely run out of batteries. Then. It would be been a bit really beneficial if I had made like a whole nother set of cells, but I really don't need that until I get to the fire area or the leeches start sucking my blood. I just thought it would probably have been a good idea to have brought the, uh, the prawn over here because I think like right on the side of the mountain right here has a uh, lot of deposits I want to remember sometime that I play this game again and build the base in the alien uh, submarine spot and that'd be cool Turn the damn lights out. Well, there's enter my hole too, so this is perfect. Engine powering down. Wait, how do I turn the lights off? Ah. Cool. All right. And now we have got to go. Yeah, see, there's like a grindy bit there. Let's see what uh, tablets we can find. Mm hmm. If I said there's three on the island, I know there's a broken one and we had two. There's also a teleporter here. Yeah, I might build on the island next time. I think that might be cool. I 
I've never had like a water base that kind of goes out of the water and into the main area too. You found three whole ones. How deep is that? I'm not. I'm not risking that. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I wouldn't, and then I'd have to start all over. Oh, uh, wait a There's that. Better turn upward. It's too damn dark in here. And I don't, I don't use uh, flashlights. Only thing against this thing. There's a thing up there. Ah. Random lithium. A whole bunch of random lithium. I did not even know this is here. I didn't know there was any rock outcrops on the island. Learn something every day. I like how I'm using the flashlight off the Z-Moth. Because I refuse to use my flashlight. I have to be needed diamonds and got some of there. Didn't have to get. I didn't realize this was here. And this makes me really want to set up a base here next. If I ever play this again. It's kind of convenient. I love how those things hit me, but they don't really do any damage. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, well, that didn't go anywhere. Daytime will come and then this will be not so bad. Sad thing is just doing this at nighttime without a flash. <laughs> it's just super dark. And every time I run, it puts the light up. <gasps> Ow. <laughs> you hurt. What do y'all think if the monsters should, or anything that does damage in this game, don't you think they should do more damage than they do? I feel like they're pretty weak, you know? There's not as much threat in this game as you think there is. Oh my god, I didn't bring a cube! <laughs> Damn. I forgot about the cube. All right. Go back and get a cube. Oh my God. Daytime. You cannot come in your path. Oh, like the lights, man. There's actual lights that are so freaking dim. Daytime, please hurry up. Please hurry up, daytime. I 
I want to be able to see. Got it. See, what's going to happen is I'm going to go over here. I'm like, oh man, I should probably get my flashlight. But if I get my flashlight, it'd be daytime won't need it. I'll get my flashlight. Now. No, wait. I don't think I even brought my flashlight. Right? Yep, I didn't bring a flashlight anyway. <laughs> Alright, I need a cube. Boom. There's cubes and lithium. Damn, that was a... Do y'all remember when we were looking for lithium right last night? Like, holy shit. I just, I just needed to come here. Just needed to come here. I don't have any cubes I need. I'm going to bring three. I think I only need one. And it's still not daytime. I just heard a warper. Alright, sun's coming up. Shouldn't be as bad. Alright, so I know that there's a, a tablet on the bottom. Like if I go underwater and come up the top. Pretty sure there's a tablet there. I don't remember what color it is. By the way, they still sit on it thin air. I don't know why they do that. Hey, look, more lithium. All right, where does this one go anyway? I don't even remember. this where I get all my food and stuff I think it is because I think in this the one I came to the gate and tried to open it yeah yeah it is yeah the more of a reason to set my base there man like I think uh making your base at the gun is probably the best idea Be like me and be a rebel and just not have a base anymore. Okay. So got that. Still looking for tablets. God, this is hilarious because last time I played, I was making fun of how the game gives you so many fucking tablets, and here I am unable to find any. I'm not going to need any fucking lithium, though. Yeah, definitely not going to need lithium. Does this already respawn? Holy fuck yeah. I need to make a mental note about this. Can I just dump them? Oh, 
It's super dark still. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go out in the water. Yep. Wait, I didn't go up here. Did I? Is it nothing? Oh, is it really nothing? Okay. Salt deposit. All right, here we go. There's one. It's gonna be more. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm getting a little turned around here. I think the only place I haven't been is underwater, so we'll do that now. Huh? Not what I was going for, though. Was it on the other side? I think it is. Damn it all. I can either jump in the hole. I'll go to the other side. But right, did you happen to find an orange tablet here? No. It means I'm missing an area that I didn't go to. Cause I'm already at the spot where I need the orange tablet. And I can't craft any of them right now. So I've, I've sequence broke or not sequence broke. I did something out of order again. Which is not surprising coming from me. Did you get where you can craft the damn things? Are you kidding? I'm going to be puking fucking lithium. Wow, this is nuts. Huh? All right, there should be uh, a tablet in here. I remember there being one here. Huh? Where's I think? Supposed to, there's something down here. There's another tablet. I don't remember where this leads. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
You'd think you would put all that rock stuff here. So I got one more purple tablet. Cause what that was an orange one, man. Cause didn't I need an orange tablet at the, uh, alien base thing that like fallen or whatever. Dude, that little vibe in is being like so upset. He'd been screaming for days. All right. Well, what do we get? A grand total of two. Okay. I'll take it. Let's get out. I love swimming on the <laughs> swimming on land. Now that we have this stuff, I guess we just go in the hole, right? Welcome aboard, Captain. I think we just Welcome go in the hole. We haven't turned too much lithium again. Well, we don't need any more lithium. We're good. Lead. Inner John cubes. Bye. All right, let's eat and go. Man, none, none of them are just good on the water. It takes so many. I know the melons are the best for water, but I don't feel like having to like, you know, chop one. Like that. Nice, Aaron. Thank you, Sandy. All right, off full. Let's go. Engine powering up. All right. We're headed off. We're going to the depths. It'll be swell. Is there something wrong with my hair or are you actually complimenting me? Mm -hmm. Like, do I have a piece sticking up somewhere? That's where we want to go, but there is a Leviathan right here. So. Rig for silent running. Yeah. All 
That's what we don't want to get. We're about past it. Are there any sharks in this game? Um, n no, yes. Yes. That, not what you would think of sharks, but there are sharks. All right, there's mushrooms. There's inner my hole. Look how you can't just not say this game is beautiful. I mean, you gotta look at this shit. This game is absolutely gorgeous. Clip the back end there. There we go. Okay. Now down. Don't hit anything. We're still hitting shit. <laughs> Whoops. I really needed to go to the blood forest a little bit. We're still lot, um, missing some enzymes, though. All right, chat. We are now in the hole. How do I turn the lights off? I forget. Wall them. That's camera. That's silent running. I just want the inside light sound. Yeah. There we go. We got one Leviathan down here. the river or what I call acid falls all right to go down the lava area what am I hitting something So anyways, to uh, get to the lava area, you just go down in that hole right there. That's not the only way. Rig for silent running. I think we're good. We're not headed down there though. We're headed to the alien thingy, which is the cross. God, 
This game is gorgeous. Yeah, there's two ways. You can take that hole, I think. That hole takes you straight down in the lava. Or there's another path down here that takes you to the tree, I think. I'm not sure why that menu is behind that. That's very strange. I need to get back to this game. I just don't look forward to going where the big things are that want to kill you. <laughs> They're not that bad. They really aren't. The Leviathans are not that bad. Now we, I guess we could have gone to balls because they like the, I think that is the exit the balls. I hit something. Damn, we're already down. 48%. We are going to have to build a uh, battery charger base at some point. Did I bring my keys or is it? There we go. This is what I wanted. There we go. Integrating new PDA data. All right. Engine powering up. I really expected it to integrate that new data and give me some news. So yeah, I can't remember if the warper can warp me out of the uh, Cyclops or not. So if we get warped out, I didn't know that. So we're going to go down here and to the right and possibly uh, build a power base. It'd be nice to set up near a thermal hole. But we don't need to. We could just make a geothermal. Or not geothermal, a bio bio thermal nuclear plant or whatever love and how you doing i didn't even see a reaper until after i made a cyclops in my playthrough for real The, the bad guys in this game are like not that bad. They really are not. I actually think other than drowning, I think it's really hard to die in this game. And there's the beautiful tree. Which is where we're going to, I guess, set up our power. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, but I guess we are now. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We need to stop here anyway. Okay. Because we, we need to uh, get the... What should we do? Hold on. Is it this? No, I need to get the modification station. Why is it so loud? Oh, my God. Yeah, we need nickel. So let's turn the ship off. That's off. Why is the red lights on? All right. Oh, it's because it was on the solid running. All right. And then top. All right. Uh, what do we need? Long time no see. It has been a while. I've seen you on uh, Steam quite a bit. Those of you that don't know, Loving is one of uh, the first followers I had. 
long, long time ago. I dropped the thing. I'm curious, Levin. Do you still, do you still follow the channel? If you do hit follow age, I'm curious. Yeah. It's been a long time. Okay. Um, I guess main thing, I think we need glass. We need this. Whoop. Quartz. What does it work? Hmm. Or should we keep going? Nah. This would be fun. I'm gonna put it on the big ball. That is not at all where I thought that was going. <laughs> Need for biothermal. All systems online. Or thermal. So I just I need some mag and some marriage gel. Do I have more mag? No, I don't. Um, can I get some real quick? Is there a mag near here? There it is. Exactly what I needed too. It was mag and arrow gel, which is there. Beep. And I need to put this near the the fire, right? Oh, what the? I didn't get the other one out. Shit. Went past it. Mm. I'm very tempted to leave the Seamoth and go get my prawn.
I'm trying to figure out how close I can get this. Well, I had it for like a second. Just make a platform near the vent. Oh, I guess I could do that. I need lead for a foundation. <laughs> Not gonna be as cool looking now though. Sure, equals more fire or more power. Is my habitat actually close enough? No. I think I'm going to move this over. What if I'm like, can I actually be too hot right with this thing? I'm curious that this can be too close. <laughs> it's not sitting on anything. It's just floating. <laughs> Yay, we got power. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here. I don't feel like making another one right now. We're going to take this. What am I doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Fuck. There we go. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Cargo CB, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Dude, I, I can't. I can't even tell you how much I'm hyped for Below Zero. We're going to be like jumping straight in on Hardcore too. I love this game too fucking much. To not just go ham. Mm -hmm. No ramp. Just kind of scared that there'll be glitches in the beginning. There probably will be, but it'll, it'll be all right. I mean, trying to think of a game that you've played in the last 10 years that didn't have glitches at the start of the launch. Mm, that needs to be changed. No, it's fine. We're going to need to build, uh, Oh my God. 
people. We have so many power cells to charge. What did I need to craft that anyway? Make a double. Um, Ruby, another advanced. Hmm. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Oh, damn it. I don't have enough rubies anyway. Keep up the good work. I like helping small streamers achieve the dream. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Bum, bum. Boop. Boop. Get charging. <laughs> Three point eight K is not small. I mean, I've been, I'm pretty small time, to be completely honest. Subnautica's kind of pushed the numbers up, viewer wise. But I've been streaming for like five years. In most people's books, five years and uh, about the size I am is definitely small, small. Okay, uh, I guess I'm just going to go around and gather because I need my batteries to charge before we can go back up and get the prawn because we need to bring the prawn down here. We bring the prawn down here. We'll be golden, but I don't want to drive this thing all the way up. I'd rather get the batteries charged first. God, the water. also need to go get nickel so how about we take out the the sea moth she needs some repairing actually welcome aboard captain all systems online warning maximum depth reached all damage imminent we're like right on the cusp of how far we can go we need to go get nickel and it should be nickel up here. It's diamond, diamond and rubies. I think I need rubies too. So. Man, I remember nickel being a pain in the ass. Doesn't this hurt? Yeah. Those of you that played this before, did y'all ever find like a really good place to farm nickel? Why was the exit Cyclops message in another language? Was it? I didn't see it. I wasn't paying attention to it either, but I don't think it was in another language. I just used the prawn to mine those big chunks, like the ones you just passed in the acid. Yeah, but I can't get my prawn yet. So I was hoping I could just find a piece, a couple pieces while I was here, but. I was hoping I could just swim around and get some. Sadly, it looks like there's going to be no dice. I 
I think that right there is a big hunk of nickel, actually. Funk, yeah, it is. God damn it. All right, screw it. Hopefully, I got enough battery power and we're going to go back and get the prawn. Oh, it said disembark Cyclops. For nickel, the best place is the tree of life, in my opinion. I always get it. That's where I'm at. <laughs> Wait, where to go? Wait, no. That way. But well, no. Wait a minute. You might be right. This stuff doesn't burn, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, get back up. All right. And before I come back and, uh, my sea moth is in the wall. That happens entirely too much. There it is. Found it. For some reason, I was thinking that only the big deposits were in this. My bad. Yeah, this is blue place. Have I watched Finding Nebo? I have. Imagine that in Subnautica. I think the only disappointment, I, oh, we were talking about this earlier. The only disappointment I have in this game is just, uh, there's not a lot of threat. Drowning is the biggest threat in this game. It is not the uh, deep sea creatures. Oh, my inventory's full. Um, with that, I might be able to go ahead and get the depth for this. All systems online. Um, wait, no, this is the fabrication. The fabrication station, not the batteries. No, the power's still in good. Okay. Need to put this shit up. Oh. How? How you doing? Mm -hmm. Where's my P? P rocks. There we go. you enter from the front side and exit while going fast, it can kill you. What are you talking about? You can run over yourself, if that's what you're talking about. Done that multiple times. Nothing new. Inside.
No. Oh, are you talking about butt spot? That oh, that's the bot that just butterflies what you say. I'm surprised more people haven't heard of butt bot. Oh yeah, the ingot. So what did I need? Lithium, two lithium. Do, 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 do. Mm, there we go. All right, so this should fix our depth problem. God, why do I keep trying to go there to make it? Oh, well, I gotta go pull the other one anyway. <laughs> Um, hopefully this doesn't hurt me while I do this. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Yeah, well. If my ship blows up before I can get this, I'm going to be sad. Woo! <laughs> that would suck if I could sit there trying to get this thing replaced. You're not supposed to be this deep when you start building the new thingies. Welcome aboard, Captain. Fully charged. I remember having to do this and didn't do it because I thought it'd blow up. Oh, we're taking big risks. I mean, it takes a while for it to tick down. Uh, the clan cop sends a lot of health, so I figured it would be enough. And if this is enough power, we're going to go get the, we're going to go up. Oh, sure. I got plenty of power. All right. We're going to go back. We're going to go get our prawn. Mm, I think. Hmm. I'm going out the other way. Right? Oh shit! I'm knocking stuff over. Well, we're not gonna go out the hole this time. We're gonna go up and out. We got a lot of storage. Fuck yeah, man. Would you believe we only started playing yesterday? We did, however, sink like seven hours in yesterday. Which was, um, uh, a good three hours of it going. Where the fuck is this thing? See, I'm not exactly sure which is the fastest way out of here. I know of two ways out of here. Have I played No Man's Sky? All right, so I got No Man's Sky when it launched. It ran like garbage. It was just poo all around. I revisited it last year, I think. Whenever it came on Game Pass, I revisited it. It was all right, but I wasn't interested anymore in it. Okay, so I don't. What? 
Was that thing still on me? It shouldn't be that bad. Maybe I should have gone out the other way. Hold up. Have I done this spot? I haven't done this yet. Might as well go ahead and do it. While I'm here. Oh, wait, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Engine powering down. And we'll repair while we're down. Where? Um. Huh? Where's my token? I have played plenty of uh, survival games though. Um, the current survival game that I'm playing is called Project Zomboid. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a really cool game. If you like survival games, Project Zomboid is uh, a beautiful, beautiful thing. A lot of fun. Um, this doesn't look right. I think my antennas ha are a little off. Pretty sure that's not how the antennas are supposed to work. Yeah, so Project Zomboid. Oh, this is the orange one. Never mind. Can't go this way anyway. Um, it's unique and it's a lot of fun. I think over the course of like a, a couple of weeks, I sunk like almost a hundred hours in it. A little dizzy. Right now we're just trying to get uh, back to get our prawn. Which should be straight up here. Outer Wilds? I have not. No, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the uh, survival S game. Outer Worlds is the um, Obsidian game. But no, I haven't. Me and Vaz uh, talked about possibly playing it at some point. Puzzle exploration. I know Vi, Vi wants to play it as well. We'll probably pick it up when it's on sale or something at some point. You may get this game since it's VR supported. Dude, I would love to play this game in VR, but I don't own any VR. I think this game will be super fucking fun in VR though. I can just imagine. I would probably never want to leave, you know? <laughs> I would never want to leave this game. I love like, I love deep sea stuff. I've ever since I was a kid, I've been fascinated with uh, deep sea shit. To like uh, all the National Geographics and all that stuff, all the uh, new exploration and shit that they do uh, down on the ocean floor, I've always really, really enjoyed it. So when this game pretty much let me live, <laughs> live out shit I loved as a kid, I've never looked back. 
like Outer Worlds, like RPG, like I've only seen very little of the game. I can't really comment. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Mom Paul one. Thanks so much for the follow. What did I hit? Mm, we got plenty of juice to get back. We're probably going to have to just go pick up the prawn and get back and then end the stream, sadly. Damn, I didn't realize it's already 540. If you guys are new to the stream uh, and curious of my schedule, uh, weekdays I stream from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Eastern. I'm currently doing Subnautica until Resident Evil 8 comes out on Friday. And then... After Resident Evil 8, I plan on doing Subnautica Below Zero on launch day. And we will be starting Below Zero on Hardcore and just dying or whatever. We're, we're going hard. Where is Seamoth? Uh, down. We came back for the prawn. Seamoth is there. Please get in. Just doing that shit. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, cramp. I'm kind of over the crevice here, which is pretty stupid. <laughs> Grab me. Here we go. Welcome I'm not going to watch any Subnautica Below Zero. I want to play it myself. I haven't even watched the trailer. Me either. I've stayed as far away from that game as humanly possible. I'm thoroughly looking forward to playing. I played it when it first came out in early access. I haven't played it since, except maybe one update. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want to do any of the updates. I wanted to go like as blind as possible. It's the first game uh, you pre ordered? Wow. Wait, what the fuck? There we go. Mm -hmm. It was hella cheap as well. Uh, I had it gifted to me a while back. Actually, I think I may have had it gifted to me last time I played this on hardcore, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to spoil myself and I wanted to play the game on full release. Hmm. Wait a minute. We're going to go to enter my hole this time. I feel like it's just a safer bet. They didn't change the entire story since I played. It'll be pretty. Uh, somebody was talking about yesterday that uh, they changed writers at some point. Like I said, I've tried to stay away from all information with uh, Subnautica because I want—I literally want to go in as completely blind as possible. So, me. Yeah. But if you guys want to watch, uh, watch it played on hardcore we'll be doing that on the 14th actually i guess it'll be the 14th so it comes out was that friday yeah so i'll be playing that friday night
Yeah, the lead writer left, so they decided to rewrite the entire entire story rather than continue the old one. That worries me a bit uh, because I think the um, the old writers the one that wrote this game, which the story wasn't bad. I mean, it would to be fair though, the story in this game is not overly amazing. I mean, it's good, but. I think uh, the main bit is just the the lore in this, the uh, the codex entries and all that kind of stuff. Which I mean, I guess that guy could have written all of it, or girl, I don't know who wrote. I'm not the name of the writer. All I can say is I hope it's good. I'd be really sad if this story is bad. That was something I was talking about earlier, earlier 11. Um, nobody's really been talking about below zero and it's kind of weird because when this game came out, there was, but or even back in early access, there was buzz about this constantly. Jack Jacksepticeye was doing an update video on it. Like all the fucking time, you know? However, I know that Jack is playing like I am right now and want to wait until everything's out. So not the same experience as last time. On top of that as well, uh, people know what to expect from Subnautica now versus before it was a new, like new everything. So the buzz might not be as uh prominent this time around but who knows maybe uh full release will come out and this game will freaking explode Take it easy. I'm just kind of like ramming this thing. Oh my God. I need it to turn. Yep. RE8 this Friday and below zero next Friday. I've, I've got, <laughs> I've got my games planned out and we're doing this hardcore until then we'll finish. We should finish this. Uh, I mean, I could probably finish this game next stream if I wanted to, but I'm probably going to stretch it out a little bit. And then after probably after below zero, I'm probably going to jump into mass effect because fucking mass effect uh, comes out the same day as below zero, the remaster. I am curious if that's going to be on EA access though, cause I have game pass, which means I wouldn't have to buy it. I can just play it through EA access, but if it's not on game passes, EA access, then I'll have to buy it. I always seem to watch RE playthroughs, so I'll give something to watch. We just did uh, Resident Evil 7. We replayed it. Um, uh, fuck. When did we probably replay that? Seek fluid intake immediately. Well, oh, shit, we are. Call me a we are thirsty. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Vital signs stabilizing. MTS Gaming. Thanks so much for the phone. Anyway, last Friday we did Resident Evil 7. Uh, I was actually surprised at how much I had forgotten about that game. I 
I'm curious to how RE8 is going to go. Like, I really enjoyed 7. It was a lot of fun. But I feel like after I played Resident Evil 2 Remake, I don't I don't want another first person Resident Evil game. I want them to make the game like they did the Resident Evil 2 Remake. The fucking camera angles, the controls, all of that was really smooth, really good. And brought it into the modern era. And I think that's Resident Evil. The FPS thing, while it's still good, I don't know. I just really, really liked Resident Evil 2 Remake more so than seven say it's nostalgia whatever but just how the game controlled felt better overall yes i'm going to see moth I am making that a halfway point. The tree, the halfway point. I don't know uh, if good or bad, but they apparently made RE8 a lot less scary than 17. Did they? I, I I haven't watched any trailers or anything, so I don't know. I played the one demo, the very first demo they did, which was more setting than anything. That was a. We got a pre-order already. Right. The Malpa, uh, yeah, I'm headed to my Seamoth right now. We went back up to get the prawn. Because we need the prawn down here. And I'm going to leave my Seamoth at that area. Because from that point, I can take the Seamoth everywhere. And I can leave the uh, Cyclops down here. Yeah, I saw an article on Reddit about a lot of people not being able or not being able to make it through RE7 because it was too scary. No, Resident Evil 2 was not or Resident Evil 7 was not scary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Resident Evil 7 was that scary at all. Uh, it has like a couple of jump scares, but no. Nah. I would say it's no no scarier than like Five Nights at Freddy's or whatever. <laughs> and, and that's just because of the jump scares and they're like early in too like uh, it gets less scary the more you play seven all right so seamoth can't go any deeper right now i'm gonna have to make a modification for that speaking of which i need to see what mod it has on we're gonna go build a moon pool Get the prawn and go stick it in the moon pool. All systems online. Reinforcements and remove weak part six seven. Oh shit. They need lithium and titanium because they need bulkheads. Um with I will fix you in a minute. Stop leaking all over the place. Oh man. Is that enough?
I wanted glass windows there. I'm gonna have to come back and fix that. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. You better drain that shit. not gonna like me when I do this be like you broke it again Oh my god. They're all in my shit. Alright, let's go sick prawn in there. I mean, might as well we're right here. I don't feel like it's actually drilling, you know? There's just still more guys. Ron in here. Uh, I think I need to lift this up a little bit. Because we are still too deep for the sea moth, and I've got to go underneath it, so. Engine powering up. We'll get to it. My stomach's a little empty. We'll, we'll get there. Okay. We're gonna stick the sea moth in the <laughs> in the cyclops. And then we will come back tomorrow and turn off my headlights. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm out of battery again. Welcome aboard, Captain. You thought seven was creepier or cringier than it was scarier. I don't know. I don't think it. I don't think it was either. Really, Resident Evil games don't really scare me though. So there's that. Oh, I need to eat and drink. Vital signs stabilizing. All right, one, two. That did not mean that many. Mm -hmm. All right, we're all full on food. Batteries could uh, use some work, but that's going to do us for tonight. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out. Yeah, all right. Should uh, let's see. Let me see what's on, who's on real quick. All 
All right, we're going to look and see if we can find any anybody new in the Subnautica category. What do we get? Hardcore day four. You know what? We're going to send it back to, uh, to teeny tiny tuna again. She was really cool. That's who we raided last night. Uh, maybe we can develop Look at the way, so cool, you see cool streamer relations with all the subnautica goodness. All right. Um, we're going to raid who we raided last night. Teeny tiny tuna. Also playing subnautica. So guys, if you haven't already, hit the follow button, support the stream, help us grow, all the good stuff. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Barguard, to find out when I'm going live, when I'm playing. If you'd like to join my Discord community, the link's down below. We'll also drop it in chat. Big thank you for everybody hanging out tonight. It's been a lot of fun. Um, next stream tomorrow, 3 a.m. Eastern. Uh, we got all of our stuff down there at the tree. So we can start doing shit, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Got a little... A few things to work on. That should be that. Stuff coming up on the channel. Uh, this Friday, we'll be doing Resident Evil 8. And next Friday, we'll be doing Subnautica Below Zero and Hardcore. Or whatever their version of Hardcore is going to be. Oh, we must have had a big host or something. 16 writers out of 34. Okay. Say hello to uh, Teeny Tiny Tuna. And we'll be out. See you.